something's going on here. Something's going on on the mempool. And uh, I noticed that there's less than one. It just changed. I'll show you. So I wanted to kind of just like timestamp this in history, kind of explain things. Uh, but you can see here that the mempool, it's got this new kind of green here, right? It, we've seen mempools where it's like kind of ready, orange, where it's congested and when it's busy. It's like checking a traffic report, right? And you see red, orange, yellow even. You're like, oh, I got to avoid that traffic. High congestion. And then it kind of gets yellowy when it's like mildly congested. And then it's usually green when it's like low fees. But now you can see a new shade of green here, almost like a master's green. And it's because you can actually set a fee now lower than one sat per V-byte. And you might think, well, cool, Jor, who, who cares? But it is a pretty big deal because now a couple different things. I, I mean, the reason why this is happening is because a couple different things. The first thing, oh, the bacon's ready to go. You might hear some beeping here. Shoot. Anyways, the reason why this is happening is because the mempool has been very dead lately. And it's, it's not lack of adoption. It's not lack of demand. It's just lack of people using the layer one Bitcoin network. And so the, the mempool has been dead, right? And the, the miners rely on these transaction fees as their revenue source. And so when, when fees are down, when the mempool is dead and nobody's sending Bitcoin, they're not making any money on the transaction fees. So what a couple of these miners have done now is that they actually started to accept transaction fees with lower than one sat per V-byte. If I'm not mistaken, it is Luxor, Antpool, Mara. There's one more uh, that are doing this now, basically to maximize their transaction fees, right? Because if you think about it this way, let's say that there's no transaction and you can see how busy it is now, right? Like this has not been this full for a while. But if you look at some of these blocks, I think there was a couple today. Sorry on the eyes. This is even hurting my eyes. See like this one. So this, this was a half full block, not even half full, one fifth full block. And so via BTC here, they only got 600 transactions in that block. And so just taking a look at it like that, right? You take a look at it like that and you say, okay, well, there was 600 transactions, 1,000 before, 700 before, 1,000 before that. Why aren't people sending Bitcoin? Well, you know, there's a lot of people out there like me who would love to see like less than one sat per V-byte because I have these UTXOs that I want to consolidate, but it's like, I don't need to. I don't need to today. But if they were 0.5 of a sat per V-byte or 0.2 sats per V-byte, hey, I'm a lot more tempted to, to do that now, right? Because you have, to, you have to imagine here that as the price of Bitcoin goes up price-wise, fiat price-wise, that means that even though you might be sending one or two sats per V-byte, the fiat equivalent of those sats of that transaction is actually higher. So as the price of Bitcoin goes from 100,000 to 300,000 to a million, it's going to cost people a lot more in fiat terms, even though it's like one sat or two sat or 0.5 of a sat, the sat equivalent, the dollar equivalent to that is actually much higher than uh, it, it would be today. Right. And I, how can I explain this in a different way? If we look at this last block that was mined here. So here's what I'm saying. When you go to send a transaction, you have to set the SAT per V-byte. You have to set the transaction fee, the rate, how much you're willing to pay to get into the next block. So in this case, they set it at 5.78. They had one transaction or one UTXO, and it cost them $1.55 worth of value, essentially. 1,300 SATs, $1.55 SATs. So as the price of Bitcoin goes up, these 1,300 SATs are going to turn into $3 and then $5. And then as that goes up, there's going to be less and less people willing to transact on layer one because there's going to be more options, layer twos, liquid, lightning, e-cash. But at the same time, the fiat price is going up. So you have to make this change eventually. We have to go to this microsat world. And this is kind of like the first iteration that I've seen from going from sats to microsats. 
So now if you go, if we go up here, oops, sorry for all the, uh, I don't want the bacon to burn. So I'm trying to rush through this a little bit. Um, but you can see here that this block here right at the end, there's 26,000 transactions in there, 26,000. And you can see that the lowest fee is 0.31 of a sat. In other words, 31 microsats. So this is like, this is a historic day. I, I know this is kind of nerdy, but like this is a legitimate mempool.space. This isn't like Robinhood or, you know, stuff like that. It's like, this is the mempool. Bitcoin miners are accepting microsats now. This is a pretty big deal. So it's good news all around. The only shitty thing, the only uh, drawback to this is that it's going to be cheaper for like the spammers of the network to be able to do this. But at the same time, there's good and bad. There's trade-offs with everything. And I think that overall, this is a very good sign, a good indication. And uh, I'm pumped. So now when I go to consolidate, let's, let's say that I had this time last year when I consolidated all my transactions into, uh, hold on, I got to take this bacon out. All right, good news. Bacon did not burn. Huh. Okay, so let, let me just w round this out with this. This is why I'm excited about this. So last year, when I had to consolidate like 100 UTXOs into one transaction, I knew that I messed up. I knew that I had been doing it wrong. I knew that I needed to fix it. And so let's say I just set the fee at one sat per VB, which was the minimum at the time. It still ended up costing us like 200,000 sats to consolidate that. Whereas now, if I had that exact same problem, based on the fees here being like 0 0.2, 0 0.3, if a miner is willing to pick up that transaction, I would have saved myself about 120,000 sats. So it is a big deal. I, I'm very happy that this is happening. It's a really good indication for Bitcoin overall, even though some might argue that because there's going to be potentially more spam on there. But that's okay. As the network becomes busier, as more and more people are using this, companies, governments, uh, large entities, this is going to fill up. And the spam is going to slow down just inherently because of that as the blockchain, the network gets busier. But for people like me and you and whoever else wants to just consolidate simply, instead of paying a lot of fees, now we have the ability to pay a much lower fee. So overall, it's a good sign. It's a good indication. And it's a very net positive, I think, from my perspective anyways.